Yo, what up, y'all? Um, wanted to to go through this list. Um, so Mike D. Um, from according to hip hop, gave us the list from 1982 to 2022. Of this is according to his list, the hip hop song of the year for the past 40 years of hip hop. Let's go through it. 1982, The Message, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Who can argue with that, right? 1983, Suckers MC, Run DMC. Okay, cool. 1984, The Freaks Come Out at Night, Houdini. There's no problems here. 1985, Rock the Bells, LL Cool J. No problem. 1986, Eric B. is president. Rock him and Eric B. Uh, that's the song that 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 he picked. That that's the thing. I, I'm like, that's the song. Okay, I guess I, I guess I'm not mad at that. I thought it would be. Oh wait a minute. This is make sure it's really okay. It was a because I'm thinking, you know, it's gonna be I ain't no joke or or pay. You know, yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be I ain't no joke. Um, or okay, all right, no issues with that. The song was released in 1986, but the album came out. In 1987. So. Okay, cool. No no issues there. Um, So, 1986, Eric B is president. Eric B and Rakim. Cool. Paid in full. Uh, 1987, Eric B and Rakim. Okay, cool. I thought that would be 86, but it was 87. Cool, no problems there. 1988, children's story. Slick Rick. Now, now, I would say that you could make an argument for Straight Outta Compton, because Straight Outta Compton, was a uh, was eighty eight, right? I think it was nineteen eighty eight. Let's see. I don't want to just say nothing and you know not have the facts. Yeah, Strata Compton. 1988. You had Easy Does It that came out. Uh, well, 1998. Heck of a year. Big Daddy Kane. EPMD. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Um, but I have no issue with this because my personal opinion. I think that Fight the Power is still a top five greatest hip hop song of all time. So I don't have a problem with that. 1989, Fight the Power, Public Enemy. I have no problems with that. 1990, Bonita Applebaum, A Tribe Called Quest. <sighs> Y'all may kill me for this one, but I don't think I agree with this. Honestly, I, I don't think I agree. Heck of a song, classic. I'm not disputing. I'm not disputing if it's a classic, but the song of the year for 1990, and you had Ice Cube that dropped. You had Digital Underground drop in '90. The Humpty Dance. That was the well. You know what? It's not about the biggest song. His song of the year. But I think for me, personally, myself personally. It's got to be Mama Said Knock You Out for 1990. Y'all, look at all these. <laughs> I'm looking at all these albums that came out in 1990. It's, it's incredible. But no, but um, Mama Said Knock You Out by LL Cool J is most definitely 
should be the song of the year for 1990. But let me make sure the album came out in 90. Let's let's see when the song was actually released. Let's see, Mama. No, you know what? I'm wrong. Mama said Nike You Out was released February 26, 1991. So, okay. According to when the song was released, no problem. So, all right, no issues. So, so far, the list is very good. Very good. The ones that I had questions on, the album came out the year after, but the single was released that year. And it actually says it on here. Keep in mind, some songs on the list were released in a different year than the albums they ended up on. So, okay, cool. So, so far, great list. 1991, my mom's playing tricks on me. 91, mama said, knock you out, LL Cool J, all day, every day. That's just my opinion. I'm putting... Mama said, knock you out as the hip hop song of the year for 1991. LL Cool J, Mama said, knock you out. My mom playing tricks on me could be at number two, but I absolutely think that LL got to be number one for that year. Mama said, knock you out. I mean, my, my, I remember hearing that song when I was a kid. Like, my, my dad playing the album over and over and over again, and then just reading about how huge that song was and. You know, people counted, you know, LL Cool J out the album before. They thought he was done. They thought he was done out here. So, yeah. So, I think they got 1991 wrong. 1992, they reminisce over you. Pete Rock and CL Smooth. It's hard to argue with that one. It's hard. To, yeah, you, I mean. Uh, I want to see something real quick. I want to see. No, that actually. Ooh, 1992 was tough. 1992 was tough, but. I'm not arguing over that. 1993, nothing but a G thing by Dr. Dre. Oh, I will put one song over this for 1993. I will put one song. It was a good day by Ice Cube. It was a good day by Ice Cube. I will put that over nothing but a G thing. But you can't go wrong with either one, though. You, like, you, how, how can you go wrong with anything on this list? I just, oh man, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, yeah. I'm not mad at that either, but I, I think I'm going to go with It Was a Good Day by Ice Cube. 1994, Kareem, Wu-Tang Clan. It's Kareem. For 1994, was Cream the song of the year or was it Gin and Juice by Snoop? Gin and Juice came out January 18th, 1994. We put Cream over Gin and Juice. I'm not mad at it. I'm just, for argument's sake, uh, that's, that's tough. That is tough. I'm trying to see what else dropped that year, but uh, I'm I'm not I'm not mad at that. I'm just what year to protect your neck come out. Let's see. Trying to see when uh, Protect Your Neck came out. Let's make sure that it wasn't released in 1993. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going. 1995, Shook Ones Part 2, Mob Deep. No arguments there. Cool. I have no issues with that. 1996, California Love, Tupac, Dr. Dre, no problem. 1997, it's all about the measurements. Puff Daddy, Free Trin, the Locks, Lil' Kim, Biggie, no problem. 1998, do up That Thing, Lauren Hill. I don't think I have a problem with this one either. Let's just, let's see what, hold on, wait, 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 no, 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 I actually, no, I got a big problem. 
I got a big problem, actually. Hold on a second. Um, hold on, hold the horses. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Night, cause 1998, Nori dropped, Big Pun dropped, DMX dropped. I, ooh, hoo -hoo, 1998 might be the most difficult year. Uh, Make them say, uh, that was a huge record. Uh, by, by Master P. Uh, what, hold on, was that 98? Let's see, let's make sure. Let's make sure. No, nah, that was 97. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay. DMX dropped twice. He dropped twice in 98. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to find the album. Hold on, wait a second. Okay, so you telling me that "Do Up That Thing" was the song of the, of the year over Rough Riders' anthem? Can't do that. Can't do it. Can't do it. And, and guys, in the comments, this is all. This is a fun conversation. You know, it's not. Don't be rude to people who don't agree with you. So if y'all don't agree with me, don't, don't be rude in the comments. Let's, let's debate about this. That's, that's what it's for. Let's debate about it. Uh, I, I don't think, I don't think I will put doo-wop that thing over Rough Riders Anthem. I just, I, to me, that just, that, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. That does not make any sense to me. No, no. Um, 1999, back that thing up. Hard to hard to go against that one. My only issue with that is my only issue with ninety nine is this. Okay, that came out two thousand. Okay, um. I'm, I'm trying to think 99, 99. Um, okay. Okay. It is Eminem, uh, Eminem dropped the 99 is back that thing up. The song of the year over high. My name is the introduction of Eminem. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have no issues with that. 2000, I just want to love you. Parentheses, give it to me by Jay-Z. That's absolutely incorrect. Absolutely incorrect. Um, come on. Like, I, I don't want to sound like I'm, be, I'm being biased towards Eminem, but come on. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me that that was the, the hip-hop song of the, of the year over Stan, over The Way I'm Is, over The Real Slim Shady. You can go either one with those. <laughs> like, you 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 go many different ways with that. So I, I don't I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't, I, the song of the year, uh, nah. Country, uh, country grammar, Nelly. You, te you telling me that I just want to love you was the song of the year for the year 2000? That's, ah, uh, ah, uh, I mean, I'm looking at 2000. Look at all these songs that drop. Whoa, by Black Rob, huge song. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm literally just going down the list. I'm looking at everything that dropped. That year, um, yeah, I, I, I think they got that wrong. I, I think, I think that's incorrect. Yeah, 
Ludacris, Ludacris dropped his major label debut in 2000. Um, was it bigger than What's Your Fantasy? Probably, you know, I don't know. But I just, nah, you can't tell me that was the song of the year over Stan, over, over um, The Real Slim Shady. Nah. Nah. So I, I think they got 2000 wrong. In 2000, you can, you, it's like with the year 2000, you can go many different ways. You know, you know, a few different ways for 2000. So yeah, I, I, I think that's incorrect. I think that's incorrect. Yeah. 2001, get your freak on Missy Elliott. No problems from no, no issue. I have no issues with that. I have no problem with that. Get your freak on this. Even to this day, that, that record is still so freaking fantastic. Like, like that's just, I have no problems with that. Uh, 2002, grinding clips. I, I don't think I have a problem with that too, but hold on a second. There's a song that I'm, that's in my head right now. It's a song that's in my head right now. Uh, Okay, that came out. We'll get to that in 04, if it's mentioned already. Okay. Um, grinding Clips for 2002. Uh, no, that's wrong. That, that, that's wrong. Let's be real. Again, it's another Eminem song. You telling me Grinding is the song over year over Lose Yourself by Eminem? There's nothing else to talk about. The biggest record of 2002 was Lose Yourself by Eminem by Marshall Mathers. It's, not, it's, nothing, else, it's nothing else to talk about. It's really nothing else to talk about. Nothing else. 2002 is wrong. 2003, In the Club 50 Cent. Okay. 2004, Jesus Walks Kanye. I think that's wrong. I think for 2004, you got to give it to Fat Joe Feline back, right? Like, you just have to, right? Like, lean back, I think it's the hip-hop song for 2004. Say what you want about Fat Joe. But that record, right? that song right there is freaking bananas. Like, did I just say bananas? I just said bananas. Uh, it has a very strong case of being the number one song. It, it, it topped Billboard. It topped the Billboard charts for 2004. So, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, mm mm. Yep. So, um, uh, I'm trying to, where, where is, where is Lane back at? Where, where is, uh, yeah. So now, um, Got to give it to Fat Joe on that one. I, I I just don't think there was nothing that's touching lean back. So that that that's my pick for two thousand and four. All right, let's keep going. Two thousand and five, still tipping. I'm a Texas. I'm a Texas man to the day I die. But. I, that's nah, no way, no way. For 05? game dropped in 05. Game, hate of the love it, hate of the love it. It's hate of the love it. Easy one. Two thousand five is wrong. Hate of the love it. Two thousand six. What you know about Ti? I'm not mad at that one. Kanye West can't tell me nothing. Not mad at that one. Two thousand eight. A Millie Lil Wayne. Not mad at that. You, they probably could have went a Millie Lollipop, but I'm not mad at that. Um, or for argument's sake, 
for argument's sake, let me let me let me just make sure the single came out in 2008. Let's 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 make sure. Let's make sure cuz I I want to make sure I am um... Yep, yeah, okay. So uh 2008, you can go a milli by Lil Wayne or hear me out, hear me out, just hear me out. Could we go Superstar Lupe Fiasco? I'm, I'm, uh, we all know Lil Wayne had the hottest album of 08, okay? But like, Superstar by Lupe Fiasco, you gotta throw him in a conversation. You have to. You have to. I'm sorry. You just, you, you have to. Um, Let's keep going. 2009, BMF Kid Cut. No, I'm, oh, I'm tripping. Blah, blah. 2009, Day and Night by Kid Cudi. Do, 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 do. That beat is freaking addicting, by the way. So, yeah, not mad at that either. Uh, 2010, BMF Rick Ross. That was huge. Not mad at it. Niggas in Paris 2011. Come on. What are we talking about here? I don't like Chief Keep 2012. Okay. 2013 started from the bottom by Drake. Yo, let me tell you something about started from the bottom. When I tell you they shoved that song down our throats. Started from the bottom. I can't listen to that song to this day. <laughs> to this day. Um. Uh, But 2013 might be incorrect. Don't kill me for this. A lot of y'all give this guy crap, even though I think he's a great guy and that album was good. Song of the year, and you could even say it's probably pop, but he was rapping on there. Can't hold us, Macklemore. You got Thrift Shop, Macklemore, the two hottest records of the year. Um, or you can go Rap Guy, Eminem. I think, so those three, I think... Um, Those three can't, can't need to be in a conversation uh, for 2013. Like I said, you can't go wrong to start from the bottom, but there, you can make an argument. 2014, Hot Nigga, Bobby Smurda. That's that's another song that I would be okay if I never hear again. No disrespect to, to uh, Bobby Smurda. It's just, man, I, I, I just that song, man, just, yeah. Um, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Um, definitely not mad at that. Uh, 2015, All Right by Kendrick Lamar. Not mad at that. Let's, let me just see what other, let me, let me see what, what else dropped 2015. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, 2016, Bad and Bougie Migos, of course. 2017, Mask Off Future, of course. 2018, Sicko Mode. Travis Scott and Drake. Okay. I am not mad at that, but... Hold on a second, y'all. My, uh... Laptop died on me. Laptop died on me. Hold on real quick, y'all. Let me plug this back in. Plug this back in. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm tripping, tripping. Should have had this plugged in. I need to be more professional. Need to be more professional. Okay, here we go. Give me one second, y'all. Let me... Okay, and we are back. Okay. Uh what was it? 2018 sicko mode. Um yeah, yeah, I'm not really I'm not really uh, that that might be correct. I'm not I'm not tripping on that. I am not tripping on that. Uh probably could have went God's plan, throw that in there, but you know what? Yeah. Okay. 
2019 hot young thug gunner i got the strangest feeling the song of the year for 2019 might not have been that um no uh y'all gonna hate me for this one y'all probably gonna be pissed off that i even brought this song up I ain't going to even do it because y'all y'all going to be Old Town Road. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I will probably go Middle Child. I'll probably go Middle Child. Um, Yeah, I'll go, I'll go Middle Child for me. J. Cole Middle Child. Uh, The Bigger Picture 2020 Little Baby. No, hey, no argument for me. 2021. Praise God. Yay, Travis Scott and Baby King. Praise God. No, heck no. I'm trying to think. Song of the year for 2021. This is the highest charting songs for 2021. Up, oh, Cardi B, Way Too Sexy, Drake, What's Next, Drake, Industry Baby, Lil Nas X, Montero, Lil Nas X, Rap Star, Polo G, Stay, The Kid, L Lori and Justin Bieber, My Life, J. Cole, Lemon Pepper, Drake. I mean, it's praise God. I think for me, the, the record of the year, I just thought that they both went crazy was a, they snapped on Lemon Pepper freestyle. Drake and Ross went off on that. Um, so that, that would be my pick. It definitely wouldn't be, um, Praise God. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Breaking of 2021, I completely forgot about this. I'm glad I just remembered. Family Ties, Baby Keem and Kendrick. Um, and that was the first time we had heard from Kendrick Lamar. He's even saying it right here. That was his first single in new music since uh, 2018. I'm going. I'm going with uh, family ties. In 2022, pushing P, Gunna, Young Thug. I'm not mad at that either. So, for the most part, for the most part, this is a very, very, very well done list. It was very well thought of. Salute to Mike D from According to Hip Hop. Like I said, I had some discrepancies, uh, but very well done. Very, very, very well done. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think about the list. I think this is a great list. Um. Very great list. It, this takes time to make. And I know, again, let y'all, if we want to debate, let's debate in the comments. But, you know, please be respectful. No need to be negative. It's, it's hip-hop. This could be a fun debate. You know what I'm saying? So, some I think they got completely wrong. Some I was like, you can make an argument for this song, for this song. But this song, really, you can go with this song, too. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Peace.